from the rolling hills of Lawrence County, Tennessee, this is Hoyt's Kitchen with Hoyt and Susie Tidwell. Good afternoon. Welcome to Hoyt's Kitchen. This afternoon we're going to do uh, a recipe from uh, Volume 2 Cookbook. Here's Volume 2 Cookbook. It can be found on 54, page 54. It's uh, cowboy potatoes. Uh, that's uh, a friend of mine's wife, Pat Hedrick. Donnie Hedrick and I graduated from high school together. And Pat submitted this uh, recipe. And uh, I talked to Frances Hedrick uh, a few minutes ago, asked her about the potatoes, and it's your choice uh, whether you want to peel them or not. So I had some russet potatoes, and I scrubbed them good and I chose not to peel them. So I'm gonna wash my hands and uh, we're gonna get started. Uh, my cookbook can be purchased online at www.hoyskitchen.com. Uh, I already called for a half a cup of uh, half a cup of milk. So we're gonna put a half a cup of milk. And it calls for one egg, well beaten. Uh, and I got my little chopper loaned out, so uh, I got another chopper we're gonna, we're gonna use today. We're gonna chop this. Well beaten, that's mixed up in here with the, the milk and egg, so uh, that's done. And we're gonna, so it's quarter of these potatoes, so that'd be four pieces. That's four pieces, so do the best you can to quarter them potatoes. Put them in this mixture and uh, then we'll got a cup of a cup of flour. I'm gonna put them in and batter them, and uh, we'll. Uh, Probably about all you can get yeah, in there right now. I'm gonna pour the rest of them and put them on a the paper plate. And you've already melted your stick of butter. Yeah, I've got my stick of butter in a. 911. Pie pan or cooking cooking dish. You know the peeling is the healthiest part to your alright uh, I'm gonna set uh, Set my cheese over here and I'm gonna get this up. Uh, I'm gonna get this butter that's melted over here and put it here and we're gonna we're gonna batter these uh, Position them in the pan and uh, right, we're going to put the uh, rest of them in here and shake them up and Yeah, 
and uh, looks like we we got a couple of potatoes left, but that's. Uh, I think you can put one about right there. We're right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. All right, it says uh, salt and pepper, so we're gonna salt and pepper. And then it, we've grated a half a cup of uh, Parmesan. Parmesan cheese. Does that go on now? Yeah, it goes on now. It says combine milk, egg, and mold with that. Dip potatoes into egg mixture. Coat with flour. Melt butter in the uh, oven. Proof pan. Average potatoes in the pan. Sprinkle Parmesan cheese over. Okay. So it calls for a half cup of Parmesan cheese. We grated this cheese and it's uh, it's well over, well, well, uh, a half a cup. So we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna sprinkle the cheese over here. And, uh, and it says, uh, We've got the oven on 350. It says bake for one hour. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in the stove and I'm gonna pop back. And we're gonna bake them for one hour. Miss Susie's got a scripture for us. So uh, go ahead, Miss Susie. Okay. Oh, you can stand over there with Kelsey while I read a Bible verse. You want to get up here? I don't want to be in the video, though. Huh? I don't want to be in the video. Well, go in there with that chair. Hey, 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 Kara. Uh, all right, Mom, read your video. Read your scripture, Mom. Here's Happy Camper. It's not time for okay. the video yet. Hey, it's been... Nana's gonna read a scripture. Say it to the video, Ashley. Hey. Nana's gonna read a scripture. Go ahead, Nana. Why do you want more beatings? Why do you keep on rebelling? The whole head is hurt, and the whole heart is sick. That is in Isaiah 1 5. That's why I love the verses in Isaiah. They are a loud reminder from the Lord that we are not okay when we are far from him. In fact, we are damaging ourselves from head to toe. Sure, we may look good on the outside, and our houses may be clean. We may even have a to-do list almost done, but we're not okay. Because there is more to life than a clean house and what others approve of. God's word reminds us that when we neglect our souls, our souls feel it and they respond, which explains our deep ache and sadness that comes from distance from, from the Lord. And I'm thankful that I have a God who tells me the cause of my pain and the cure for that pain. Time spent with him. Even more, I'm thankful that God is willing to forgive his people for choosing lesser things over him. So God, thank you for your warnings and your reminders. Thank you for your forgiveness. And always help me to put you first in my life, Lord. Thank you, Susie. Here's our great-grandchildren. Thank you, Nana. Can you say hi, guys? Hi. Hi. All right, Hi. All right. Uh, we're going to say thank you, and uh, we'll show you the end result here shortly. God bless. All right, here's the final product of those potatoes, the cowboy potatoes. And now I'm going to come right over here and get the expert's opinion. What do you think, Hayes? Good. What do you think? Yeehaw! Yeehaw for cowboy potatoes. That's right. You like them? Mm-hmm. They're good. They are good. 
All right, folks, so that's a wrap on the cowboy potatoes, and it's all a yee-haw here. So, you all have a good evening. Thanks for watching. You keep watching. And we'll keep cooking. And Hay says, God bless.